we're going to start, though. Uh, I guess the biggest news is, is probably the Kenny Omega injury, Dave. Diverticul- In injury, it, it, it's or um, illness. Yeah, diverticulitis. Diverticulitis. Yeah. So um, he, I, 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 I did not hear if he had surgery yet um, on it. But he was rushed to the he rushed to the hospital um, Friday, right? Yeah, because I was I was just leaving when I heard um, leaving Hawaii, and um, he had been in a lot of pain. And he thought what happened was, as you probably all remember, is that he had the the hernia that was really really bad, which caused him that that long long period off. And he had been hurting really really bad, and he had presumed it was a hernia. He had had bloating, which he presumed was, you know, that he thought he may have messed up on his diet somehow, mm. you know, and eaten something wrong. And, um, but he, you know, just he kept, you know, training on it, working on it, um, did the match with Ethan Page, did, um, he was hurting really bad on Wednesday when he did the promo with Jericho. Um, that, that, by that point, it was, it was really bad. So he went to the hospital and found out he had diverticulitis. He, he was it was a really bad situation i mean in the sense of if he had not gone in you know another day or so it could have been horrendous he's i guess he's fine i i you know i heard from him and uh you know once and um you know just kind of said that like you know he in pain had been, had trouble sleeping but he just thought it was the hernia acting up again mm-hmm. and and once he found out it wasn't he said there's a there was you know, could have been really, really bad complications. So he's, you know, I mean, I don't know how long he's going to be out and I don't think anyone does, but um, it was a very, very serious situation by the time he got to the hospital. And it was so last minute that they weren't even able to acknowledge it on Rampage, right? Um, I don't know when they do the voiceovers. They probably, I think they do most of the commentary on um, on uh, uh, Wednesday and you know live in the building so they wouldn't have known because he didn't even go to the hospital until the next day and um and then he announced it on friday um i don't you know um they did mention it on the ring of honor show and tony khan you know talked about it in the scrum after the ring of honor show and you know basically said you know kenny said what he said and uh, we wish him the best and you know, basically said, I think that, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Kenny Omega, there would be no AEW, which, mm-hmm. you know, if you know the whole original story, you know, it stemmed from the Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega match and both of them being free agents and, you know, the young bucks and all that. But, um, the catalyst of everything were, was the Kenny Omega, Chris Jericho match and the conversation that, uh, Tony Khan had with, um, Kevin Riley who talked about how much money the rights for WWE were doing and just kind of like, you know, I mean, starting a wrestling company, you might be able to get some big rights fees and, you know, which is another story in and of itself because <laughs> where we're at now. But, um, you know, those were like, the, you know, those were like the key catalysts, you know, I mean, um, you know, all in, of course, you know, certainly helped and proved something, but, um, you know, the original idea came from the, uh, the, the the success internationally of the Omega Jericho match and them both being free agents and the idea of building a company around you know those two and and the Young Bucks and Cody Rhodes, so um, you know so he he did bring that up. He talked about a lot of different things as well, but um, yeah. So um, you know, well, I mean, hopefully everything works out for the best and and uh, he starts having a, a recovery. But it's a nasty thing. I mean, you know, Harry Smith went through it just recently. Um, I, everyone remembers Brock Lesnar, obviously, probably. Um, you know, Jim Ross has had it. Vince McMahon's had it. But but Brock Lesnar was probably the most heavily publicized. And Brock Lesnar was, you know, he was an incredible, incredible. I, I, from from the way that Kenny described it, it sounded very similar to the way Lesnar had described it. So I think that they had similar really bad cases of it. Yeah, and... Just the, uh, you know, I from the perspective. I think from, Court Bauer had it too. Court had diverticulitis. I think so. I think I've talked to him about that before. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, in the chat they mentioned that uh, Jericho issued a challenge to any two members of the Callis family um, on Rampage, and that's where Don Callis 
decided that it's uh, Freebird's rules, basically, for right. his, his team. So any any two of the three can can be in matches. Um, so yeah, yeah, in his promo, he kept calling about the Golden Jets, and yeah, at that point, it's obsolete in the sense that yeah, it's not going to be the Golden Jets. It's going to be I guess Jericho has to pick a partner or something, but they do they definitely have to redo that tag my title match on the mm-hmm. the pay per view, which was supposed to be. Well, the tag title match was Big Bill and, and Starks yeah. against Jericho and Omega. And then, obviously, they were going to go to, you know, the the free bird, you know, whether, whether it's Fletcher, Hobbs, and Takeshita against Omega and Jericho was supposed to be the next step, which obviously isn't going to happen. Uh, Ryan, I know you, you didn't have diverticulitis, but you've dealt with an illness um I don't even know how similar it is, but what are do you have any thoughts on like recovery and, and how he may be doing right now? Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I've had, I had colon, colon issues myself, you know, cyst in the colon and, you know, stuff like that. Still have problems with it these days. It's really hard. I mean, I didn't have diverticulitis. I wouldn't know how to necessarily treat it, I guess. I mean, obviously like when you're, you know, knowing about what Brock Lesnar went through and, you know, it seems like high protein diets can be, you know, can be cause for it. You know, obviously a wrestler, somebody in the shape of Kenny Omega, probably on a high protein diet. So that's probably not good for him, but yeah, I really don't have too much insight into it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, Omega, obviously just talking about this show, he's probably my favorite person that we've ever interviewed. Uh, just the just the way that he he has a conversation and how thoughtful he is in, in his answers. Uh, obviously, wish the best for him and and hope yeah. that oh, he yeah. can of course yeah. get 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 you know healed up as as soon as possible and and figure out what else you know what else he still. Uh, I mean, he's had the injuries in, in the past, right? Like he like like you mentioned, Dave, with the hernia, and then there was the shoulder stuff. So he's been well, well, he, up. shoulder. He, he's had a lot of you know he's he's had a lot of injuries, and you know you're going to have that wear and tear. And the thing is, is when he was talking about how much pain he was in, you got to remember, this is a guy who has an incredible tolerance to pain. Um, and and that probably worked against him because he because of that, even as, as much pain as he was in, it was just kind of that mentality that you, you know, you work through it as, as long as you can. And, you know, um, somebody else might have gone in and been more alarmed by the pain and he lives with the pain. So maybe that has something to do with, you know, I mean, it, it, uh, you know, I mean, not going in earlier, um, but um, thank God, thank God he went in when he did. Orange sold the knee, which is, he got attacked. I don't remember him getting attacked. Matt Menard said he was attacked the night before, which would have been ROH. So it's probably ROH. Are you smoking or what's happening here? What the fuck? What is happening? I have no Bro, clue. what is this? dude? I think there's not, I've changed nothing. Smoking is room. bad enough for you, but you don't need right. to do it on the air. What is happening here? God, I, I'm glad I'm not the only one experiencing this. Did you die? <laughs> I've ascended. Yeah, I don't know. And it looks like it's changing colors too, which is weird. It's going from red to blue. What the now? It's flashing. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, everyone's saying this, shut man. your lines, dude. They're completely closed. Oh my god. Maybe I open don't know them. What is There we go. The sun moved. Well, uh, yeah, the sun actually the No. Old... Oh. Okay. The sun will continue to move <laughs> and then we'll be able to see again. We then had uh Abaddon take on Trish Adora. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.